I'm sure you heard the saying that money isn't good or bad, it simply reveals our nature. And it is the same when we are faced with very challenging situations in our lives and then we are tested how far we really walk our talk about our mental, spiritual and emotional health and well-being. You see, it's easy to put out those kind of videos and to just spread messages, give information and give you exercises. But how we, by the end of the day, embody who we are, embody our spirituality when it's challenging is what really makes a difference. A few days ago, I've had for the second time a bit of a health scare. And the days seemed very long until I got my results and everything is fine, everything is good, as deep down I knew it would be. But what happened in those days and what really made it very obvious for me is that our innate, immediate response to something that is threatening, whether it's literal for our life or our emotional and mental state, is that we disassociate with that part of the body, for example, when it's physical. We do not want to connect with it, we judge it, we hate it. We put ourselves often in a victim position, but also there is a lot of fear that makes us want to run away from it. Any kind of health scare, health diagnosis that is, let's say, very challenging, is one of the highest forms of initiation. And a lot of you who have had to go through this, not just with family members, but especially with yourself, know how life changing and shifting it is. Because now you are faced with something that you can no longer run away from. This is why everything first exists in the spiritual realm, in our energetic field, before it actually manifests into physical form. You see, those days when I was between the results, I knew deep down that everything would be fine and I know why it was happening because of my huge spiritual cleansing that I did last year. This year, whatever I cleaned spiritually had to be removed out of my body physically and I had a surgery a few weeks ago as well, removing certain things. So when you can understand the connections and why things work and the way they work, it is so much easier to really look within and to connect to that part. So instead of running away, you connect. So what I did is I was placing my hand there, I was giving it my own healing energy. I thanked it for being there and I allowed it to tell me who and what it represents and do that with love and not with judgment. And the moment I did that and it was shown to me and I understood the connection, I forgave the person, I forgave the situation, I forgave myself and I was really, and I mean really ready to fully let it go. Because so often we do store some sort of resentment, we do store a level of anger that is usually based on a sadness that has never been fully expressed and we are not aware of that. So when I was able to do that, I wasn't just incredibly proud of myself because I was fully in it. But I felt a difference. I felt something lifted, something shifted, something left my field and it left my body. It is the same with our emotions because we are talking here emotions. So this manifested physically. However, you do not need to wait for that. So whenever you have a situation, an emotion you struggle to deal with, face it head on, no matter how challenging it is. You see, we have three spiritual bodies and we have three physical bodies, which is our mental, emotional and physical state. These are represented by the Star of David, the six-pointed star. And this star is intertwined, meaning whatever happens below happens above and vice versa. Give yourself love, remove the judgment, be courageous, go towards it because it's in you and it deserves your love.